Hey there everybody, this is video number four in types of chemical reactions and it's going to talk about double displacement reactions. So a double displacement reaction is when the cation and the anion switch places in both compounds. So in this case we have table salt which is sodium chloride and the sodium ion has a plus charge and the chlorine item carries a negative charge. And this is also a salt, which is potassium bromide. And the potassium carries a plus charge, and the bromide carries the minus charge. So what's going to happen is this minus charge on bromine is attracted to the plus charge on sodium. And the minus charge on chlorine is attracted to the plus charge on potassium. So they're going to switch places. So we're going to get sodium bromide. And this is all in, done in aqueous solution and we're gonna get potassium chloride. All right, and now we have the same number of elements on both sides, so we know the reaction is complete and the reaction is balanced. So on the next one, for example, we have magnesium chloride and calcium hydroxide. So in magnesium chloride, as always, the positive charge goes over the first element, which is magnesium, and the minus charge goes over top of the um, anion. Calcium is the cation and hydroxide is the minus, uh, minus ion, uh, the anion. Sorry. So in this case the whole hydroxide molecule is the anion and in this case the whole chlorine, both chlorines are the anion as well. So as you can tell in this case magnesium has a plus two charge because we know chlorine has a minus one charge and we have two of them, so that equals minus two and the charge is balanced, which is what we like. And in this case, we know that calcium must have a plus two charge and then the hydroxide must have a minus one charge because there's two of them, which is minus two. And so these, um, both of these compounds have a neutral charge. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna displace both the anion and the cation. So since calcium and magnesium both have a plus two charge, their anions are just gonna switch. So we're gonna let calcium bond to chlorine and we're gonna let magnesium bond with hydroxide. And this is what we're gonna get. Magnesium hydroxide. And we're gonna check that our charge is balanced. Magnesium has a plus two charge. The hydroxide has a minus one charge, but we're timesing that by two. So it has a minus two charge, and perfect. Our charge is balanced. And we can also double check by seeing that we have one magnesium on both sides, and we have two oxygen on both sides, and two hydro hydrogen on both sides. So we know that's balanced. And then we know that we're going to get calcium chloride. So calcium Cl2. And we know that calcium has a plus two charge. Chlorine has a minus one charge, so we added two chlorines to get minus two. And these charges balance as well. So that's how you do a double displacement reaction. Hopefully that helps.